I like to eat, eat. Gerald had dilated cardiomyopathy, an enlarged heart that decreased the blood flow in his body. His mom, Amanda, explains. It was irreversible. It was getting worse, so he ended up on what's called a Berlin heart. That's an external heart pumping his blood for him. He was on that for seven months, which is the longest they've ever had somebody on it here at Primaries. Gerald got a heart transplant at Primary Children's Hospital in March. He's still at the hospital recovering. I got to meet him at the music therapy room. I'm Doug. How you doing? So tell me about Gerald. Music makes him happier probably than anything else. If they're playing, he is dancing. Even when he was like in the ICU, very sedated. Right after his transplant, we put the Trolls movie on and there's one little clip that came on and he's half asleep and he couldn't stop himself from like doing a little shimmy in his bed. <laughs> like if it's on, he is, yeah, he is dancing and he is happy about it, yeah. What is music therapy? It's really rooted in addressing the needs of an individual through music. It's as simple as that. Anything from helping a kid in the hospital who's having trouble fall asleep, or it could be writing a song with a teenager to help them process a new diagnosis. What gives you hope? Being able to look at a really challenging situation and still be able to find hope and still be able to find beauty and still be able to create joy. I think those are the kind of things that we try to do here in a children's hospital. And it can be really challenging, but it can be really rewarding too. And I always say that it's an honor to get to work with these families because it truly is. That's what it's all about. These stories deserve to be told. These are Utah Caring Stories. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.